I'd like to start this video off with a bit of an experiment. I want you to picture something awful, the worst thing you can, something that's just disgusting and horrendous, something that nobody wants and that should just be wiped clean from the face of the earth, okay? So picture something now. No, a bit worse than that. Bit worse? Yes, perfect. Okay, now think of something even more disgusting and horrendous than that. Ready? Go. Okay, no, bit worse. Bit worse again. Perfect. Great. Now, take those two things and put them together. That's what we're talking about today. <laughs> I'm sure at this point we all know who N and A Productions is. I've done a video on him, the entire commentary community has done a video on him, and in my opinion he's one of the worst YouTubers out there currently. And now he's a rapper for some reason. Why? N and A Productions' new banger has been out for three weeks now and it's called Ice Gang. What's even worse about this video, bear in mind we haven't even started it yet, is his stage name. He's going by the name of Lil N and A. I mean, what the f- The whole point of a stage name, in my opinion, is to be interesting, catchy and easy to say. And Lil N and A is none of those things. We haven't even started watching the video yet and it's already complete garbage. On a slight tangent though, why are so many rappers appearing all of a sudden with Lil put before their name? Like, there's little Uzi, there's little Wayne, there's little Pump, there's little Yuchi, there's little Tay, there's... Little Fortnite. I bet you, I bet you there is a little Fortnite. I wouldn't be surprised. I wonder if I put Lil in my stage name. I wonder if it would get me more views on my music. I'll tell you what I'll do, right? Um, I'll dye my hair rainbow coloured, um, I'll gold plate my teeth and I'm going to tattoo my YouTube URL across my forehead. Um, <laughs> that'll get me more views on my music. Anyway, let's get back on topic. Without further ado, let's jump in and have a look at NNA Productions' new banger of a music track. Wait, 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 wait. Stop right there. This video hasn't started with NNA Productions spinning a fidget spinner and begging for likes. This, this can't be happening. Hashtag not my NNA Productions. Yo, ice gang, hey, ice gang. Oh my fucking god, how much auto tune have you put on your voice, son? Ice gang, hey, ice gang, hey. What is wrong with that? I I can't even. That that voice in the background. It's got more auto-tune than I've ever heard before, but it's still out of tune. That doesn't make any sense. Ice gang. Hey, um, and these films, I hope I'm saying that right, but um, what the fuck is wrong with you? What possessed you to do this? What what made you think this would be a good idea? The biggest problem with this song, other than the fact that it's complete shit, is the fact that NNA Productions, bless him, his first language isn't English. His English isn't exactly great, and to top that off, his voice has been layered and layered and layered with far too much auto-tune, and I can't understand a thing he's saying. Honest to God, the only thing I can genuinely understand in this song is Ice Gang, which, by the way, he says far too much. Ice gang, ice gang, ice gang, ice gang. What's that? Um, my fan base is completely brain dead, you say? Oh. Well, um, maybe if I keep repeating the name of the song over and over again, um, they might remember it? I, I don't know though, I mean, they are completely retarded. What kind of fucking spider language is this? I genuinely can't understand a thing you're saying! What on earth is going on? I mean... There really isn't much else to say about this track, is there? 70% of it is just him saying, Ice Gang. The other 30% is completely untranslatable. And it's all incredibly auto-tuned and played over him flexing Gucci merch. I think my favourite part of this song is the end, when he realises this song is complete dog shit, throws himself into a swimming pool and drowns himself. I'd say that's um, probably my favourite bit, yeah. Now, I'm sure you're all thinking what I'm thinking, which is, thank god the song is over, I can now go and cry myself to sleep. Well, no. Ha <laughs> ha! You thought you were getting out of it that easily, did you? Ha <laughs> ha! What many people haven't realised is that NNA Productions has made a second song. And it's called, um... Dame to Cosita Gang. Just in case you haven't guessed by the title, this song makes Ice Gang look like a work of art. And I, I, that's not a joke, that's genuinely serious. 
Uh... Why has he got complete gibberish shaved on the side of his head? What possessed you to do that? In his song Ice Gang, NNA Productions was speaking complete snake language for half of the video. I'm willing to bet that what he's got shaved on the side of his head, it's actually snake language. It's like a call to arms to all reptilian brothers watching the video. <laughs> Okay, I take back what I said earlier. This song has no auto-tune, and I still can't understand a word he's saying. This man is completely incomprehensible. Traveled with the crew, Afghan, we so lit. Friends with only few, Afghan killing it. Afghan, or however you say your bizarre name, you are not, as you claim, lit, and you are certainly not killing it either. This is some of the worst music I've ever heard in my life, and I think you should throw yourself off that boat. What is he wearing there? Is that his mother's dressing gown or something? What the f- What is that? I'm sure at this point you can see a pattern developing with NNA Productions music. He basically picks a word or a phrase, he repeats it for about 70% of the track, and then he slaps a generic hip-hop beat in the background. And that's basically all his music boils down to. On a slight tangent though, here's a fun fact for you. NNA Productions has a Logan Paul Maverick tattoo. Jesus Christ. KSI reaction to my Logan Paul Maverick tattoo. OMG, he was shocked. I don't think he was that shocked to be honest. He probably just thought you were a bit brain dead and I'd probably agree with him. Anyone that gets themselves a Logan Paul Maverick tattoo, you need help. You need serious help. Now, you'll be very glad to know that NNA Productions hasn't completely moved to music. However, sadly, that means he's still making his calling fictional characters at 3am videos, which are utterly appalling, and I'd like to show you one now to finish off the video. To finish off today's epic family-friendly vlog, we're going to be looking at Do Not FaceTime, Talking Angela, and Talking Tom at 3am OMG, I lost my voice. I actually didn't realise that the Talking Tom app was still a thing. I haven't heard of that app since 2012. Maybe he's just running out of ideas, but regardless, let's give it a watch, shall we? Wanna join my free gift cards giveaway? Oh, God. I forgot he did this. He still has an unironic free gift card giveaway at the start of his videos. Oh. That's actually ruined my day. <laughs> also, I know I've made this point before, but I'll say it again just in case. This is an exact carbon copy of Derb's free gift card giveaway. Just so you know. Hey, NN Squad, welcome back on the brand new video. Another day, another bag. Who the fuck is that? I mean, there's no introduction. He never introduces this person. He's just there. For all we know, he might have just pulled him off the street, given him 20 quid and a hoodie, and gone, Hey, will you please be in my video? You just have to copy exactly what I do. It's going to be so insane, guys. Same yeah. video, alright, guys? I know it's going to be so, so, so insane. And you guys will... Can we take a moment to appreciate how uncomfortable this person looks? And to be fair, I can't blame him. <laughs> they just keep on repeating you. Yes, they do keep repeating you, because that's the point of the app. <laughs> oh my god. So the whole premise of this video is that they call up Talking Tom and Talking Angela and they steal their voice and it leads to some of the worst editing I have ever seen in all my life. It's edited poorly, it keeps cutting off at points and it sounds really annoying, it's like Fred all over again. Oh god, do you remember Fred? <laughs> rocking on the rocking chair. <laughs> Right, I'm done. I am so, so done. That is physically all I can take of NNA Productions. In conclusion, his music is horrendous and his regular content is even worse. I, I just... I just despise life at this point. I just want it to end. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can like this video, subscribe to my channel to see more content, and you can check out my social medias in the description so you never miss an update from me. If you don't already know, I recently made a Discord server. There'll be a link in the description if you're interested in joining up. It's basically just um, stale memes and shit posting. 
and um, it's pretty toxic, but um, please join anyway. Please feed my ego. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'm off to carve out my eardrums now. I will see you all in the next video.